Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing great. I'll show you something. Today we got a new member at this food forest. She was born today. We have not named her. Not name her. It's a he. Uh, we got a Hallikar baby. Now we have got almost 10 cows. Uh, I think around 6 Hallikars and uh, 4 Malnad Giddas. 7, ten, almost 7, 8 um, goats. A lot of livestock. It's really uh, like very pleasant when we wash them. Um, see all of them there. So we got this water apples, first batch of water apples here. It's not yet ready. Mr. Raman, how is it? It's very tasty, you know. Tasty? You didn't have it, no? I have. Okay, okay. Chilies. Red chilies. Yes, the water apple is ready, it seems. Let me try, taste it. Oh. Very good. Yeah. This is uh, Raman and this is Anandu. And then... The good news here is, see, so we got the peppers will be coming very soon. Now this area we got a lot of papayas coming up. Passion fruits are coming nicely. Maxu! Is the newest member not she it's he actually we realized it later three this is sundari she was born here she was the first to be born here in the d hmm? so this is like i'm getting a forest look now Maybe after this rain, it will be like much more denser. This area, we are going to plant ginger this time. This year, we are not planting too much of ginger. The recent harvest was really good and we got good price also. Today, our uh, breakfast is going to be tapioca and uh, chili chutney, some curd. Tapioca is from the farm, chili is from the farm and uh, the curd also is uh, from our cow milk. So mostly whenever I am living here, I try to eat as much as things which we grow here or which we produce here. That's farm life, right? These red chilies we will uh, dry up and make chili powder. This year the Goa it was really good. Quite big. Mm. 
you might be wondering why we are not doing the harvesting uh, we do harvesting as per the requirement remaining we are just uh, leaving it here we are not really getting into sales as of now we are not yet ready for that uh, we need to have a very organized way of doing things so our goal is like 2025 beginning we'll start doing those things till then we need to prepare ourselves make things put things into order system and then go on hen uh, the eggs are really good they also eat these goas and also we just leave it for them a lot of birds are coming and uh, this like when it falls down it's good manure that's a pressure pump like which pumps water to our bathrooms with pressure some work going on extending Doing some uh, extension for the place where I'm staying. There are some problems which I need to manage, like uh, when the rain is too heavy, the water is coming inside, and uh, I need some space to park my vehicle. So I'm doing some extension work here, then something for the fence because Max is uh, going out and we are having trouble. He's uh, chasing people, and uh, the villagers are complaining. So I need to do something to stop him because I am now putting him on leash and uh, always he's tied. I just leave him for a few minutes and sometimes when he gets a chance he still goes out out of the fence area and um, he feels that all the village around it belongs to him and it is his responsibility to take care. So he even chases people, he even chases people on bike and it's very dangerous. Last, uh, like three, four months back, he bit two people also. So I had to take care of that and villagers are complaining. So what I decided was I'll do chain link fencing for the farm. Completely, we are doing chain link fencing for all, almost eight acres of land. If you're interested to know more about this fencing, I'll let you know. I'll keep a separate video. So the fencing work is going on. We are doing something for the goats. Then um, this is some extension work going on. So it's very warm here. It rained uh, last week. It was raining like almost every day. And um, it's good. We don't need to water the plants. But still we are running, running the rain guns. Trying to manage the parthenium. We have some people working to remove this parthenium. I feel the only solution is like we need to keep removing them before it flowers. And uh, try to get rid of that. Now once the chain link fencing is done. What I am planning to do is I'll plant a lot of uh, passion fruits so that we get a green fence sort of thing and uh, <clears throat> plant some bamboo trees also. Already we have planted almost 50 bamboos. It's growing good. Some ornamental bamboos also would help. I just came from Kerala. Before that I was in Maldives. Both the places it's too humid and very hot, warm, whatever we say. Here it's much better compared to that. Humidity is very less. But it's burning hot when you go out in the sunlight. Every year the temperature is rising, uh, we people should take care of that. We need to make sure that a lot of trees are plants are planted, trees are planted so that um, the rising temperature shouldn't be that much global warming. And uh, we need to work very closely with nature. <clears throat> For me, I love to be very close with the nature. I usually enjoy greenery, I enjoy trees, plants, forest. The idea for me is to create a food forest. It's coming up really good. I think in next two years time, I would achieve what I was really working towards. My dream was to create this place like a forest. It's a tough job, but it's going really good.
just going out for a walk these are the new fencing it's called chain link fencing I think it would be good now these are chain link fencing uh, it's 2 inch like this and 2 inch like this the next mesh would be like we, we are running out of this kind of mesh so we may have to get something different he is the chief engineer for this project maybe in next uh, one week time we should be able to finish it it would make uh, life easy for us especially because of uh, our dogs would be able to like i i want to leave them free i hate like putting them on leash and uh, controlling them especially max he he was like uh, last two days back we just brought him on leash uh, towards the fence he was like sort of crying and like he was uh, i don't know he was like telling us that he doesn't understand what's happening what is this big tree it's full of curry leaves like this uh, natural curry leaves desi curry leaves what do you know? another curry leaf tree this is pepper this GT is the manager here and now he's doing the he's like he's milking the cow for the first time he's learning it it's good our little boy is on leave today so we got one person to do it but again GT is trying to learn that it's 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 the right way to do when i should be learning how to milk a cow i'll be doing that very soon <laughs>